In the editing group on the right side, AutoSum has a little drop arrow associated with it for other related functions as well. Let's use it in its most basic form. We're in cell G2, for example, we want some totals. AutoSum is designed to quickly add totals from above or from the left. It is context sensitive. A standard way to use this would be to put the active cell here and click AutoSum. And we view what's going on. And if we were relatively new with functions and formulas in Excel, we might look at that for a bit and ultimately figure it out and say, oh, yeah, that looks good. And what do we do next? Many people will press enter and that's fine. You could also have pressed auto sum a second time. And of course, that raises the idea this could be a little bit faster, couldn't it? Next time we need this in a situation like this, why not double click on auto sum? Makes it a bit faster. Another way to do this too, by the way, is the keystroke shortcut. Now you might say, well, I'm using the mouse to get here. Why well, you, you maybe you've used the keystrokes or the keyboard to get here. Get here, alt equal. You do have to press enter there though to complete it. So here and there, that's gonna be useful as well. We might wanna use auto sum here. Another approach to auto sum is to highlight the data first. If it's highlighted in a column like this, then we can either press alt equal or auto sum once and the total goes below it. There we go, fast and easy. Let me do that with alt equal, highlight this data, alt equal. And although no better, but sometimes we do this possibly by mistake, but by design, if we highlight data this way and press Alt equal or the auto sum button once we get an answer there too. And be open to the idea that sometimes rather than putting auto sum in once and then comping it, suppose we went totals on the right hand side of the data here. Done rows 12, 13, etc. right here. Highlight the data. Click auto sum once. We got our totals. What if we wanted totals on the bottom? We could have highlighted these and press auto sum once. Or as I press control Z twice to undo these, why not take care of both sets of totals at the same time? Highlight the data this way to include the empty cells on the right in column H and the empty cells below this in row 16, then click auto sum once. Works just fine. And if instead of totals here, if we wanted averages, we would have highlighted the data here, click the drop arrow, use average, we get averages on the perimeter. And obviously we need to do some formatting there, the comma button be a quick fix possibly but it's easy to use auto sum and its related drop arrow capabilities. A good quick way to take care of lots of formulas in Excel.